What's up guys, it's your own Ninja Warrior Aviators and Superhero Hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And today we're doing the last episode of our Airbender Hurricane Kick tutorial. It's basically an Airbender week where I take off, uh, where I use a workout that I created for our Airbender actor in a fan film that I'm working on and break down not only his workout, but a specific move that is kind of hard to learn if you don't know what you're doing. So with all that said, I will give you more details about the Avatar film if you want to know more about it at the end of this video. So stay till, stay till the end and hopefully you'll see it then. But before we get into finishing and putting together this final part of the trick, uh, we got to run that intro. Alright guys, so as you know, this final part is putting all of the different moves together. Now we learned it a little bit out of order. So the first move you're going to lead with is your highest move, which is the jumping backspin kick. We start from the top and work our way down. So as you do your jumping backspin kick and land, you don't want to land solid. You want to continue with the momentum into your backspin kick. And as you continue with your backspin kick, that momentum that you're building up will lead into your drop back spin kick. However, there's one thing you need to know is that is to keep your balance. If you don't keep your balance, you will fall and have a very hard time trying to do this trick. Keep your hands in and up. Even keeping them up obviously will help protect you if you're actually fighting someone. That's just a good habit to have. And it makes it look, whether you're doing this for a trick or you're doing this for a film, whatever you're doing this for, it makes it look like you know what you're doing. But the second function of keeping your hands up is that it actually stays in and allows you to spin a little bit faster and easier. It's like when you spin a top. Keeping it all centered helps you spin a lot faster, but when you stick your arms out on like a chair, you spin slower versus spinning faster. So keeping those arms in will help you complete the spin fast enough so that you can actually do the kicks and the trick, the entire kick combo correctly. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see me break down another combination, uh, let me know. I have a bunch of different combinations that I do on TikTok and Instagram. So check out those accounts. Tell me in the comments of those videos which ones you want me to do. And I'll do them on here for you guys. I'll break them down for the week. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget the links for the Avatar fan film are down below. And I'll show you a teaser at the end of this video if you really want to get hyped for it, if that's something you're interested in. I'm super excited to show you guys the fight scenes that I put together. And hopefully you guys are excited to see them because I'm really proud of it. With all that said, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.